today we are going to learn new topic unit 6 measurement as a guideline for this topic we are going to learn two measurement the first one is area and the second one is a volume for area we will learn how to measure the area of a regular surface and also irregular surface. For volume, we will learn how to measure the volume of hollow box, liquid and also irregular shape solid. Are you ready kids? Let's get your textbook and turn to page 79. So if you look at the picture, this is the stimulus for this topic measurement. Let's read it. During the last school holidays, Langi and his sister helped their father to work on his ornamental fish enclosures. Do you know what is ornamental fish enclosures? Ornamental fish are fish that are not for consumption. It is also for uh, it is only for placing in aquarium, uh, ikan hiasan. Enclosures are uh, these things here. These are enclosures. Father, why are these enclosures different in size? This large enclosure can be filled with more fish. Oh, no wonder this small enclosure has lesser fish. How is the size of the enclosure measured? So, this is what we are going to learn under this topic. Now, area. Look at your textbook, page 80. Wow, this football field is bigger than my school's football field, father. When we say something that is bigger or smaller, we are actually talking about their size. Yes, a size. Okay, usually when we say uh, something small or big, or if it is uh, not too small or not too big, we call it medium size. So, the size of a place or surface is called area but how do we measure the size okay area is the measuring of size area is measured using a measuring tool and is expressed in a suitable unit let us look at the objects below and their units of measurement. Let's look at the first example. This is a book. The area of a book can be expressed in square centimeter or written as cm2. This is a mat. A mat is uh, larger than a book. The area of a mat can be expressed in square meter or written as M2. And then look at this globe. This is a state of Sabah. The area of a Sabah can be expressed in square kilometer 
or written as KM2. So this is the unit for measuring the area. Square centimeter, square meter, and square kilometer. Now, let's look at another example. What is the suitable unit for the area of this object? The first object is a leaf. So, which unit is suitable? Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Square centimeter. What about the tennis court? Square meter. And the last one, this blue lake. Square kilometer. Okay, which one is larger? There are three squares here. Blue, orange and pink. Okay, of course, this pink square is larger in size. Okay, now, your textbook, page 81. Measuring the area of regular surfaces. The area of a regular surface of an object can be measured using a paper square or graph paper. This is a paper square and this is a graph paper. Okay, now we shall use a paper a square. Let's see. Okay, look at, uh, look at this yellow card. How do we measure the area of this card? The length of this yellow card is 3 centimeters. Okay, you look here. The length is 3 centimeters and the width is 2 centimeters. Length 3 centimeters with 2 centimeters. So, how big is this sky? How big it is, is measured by its area. Okay, we can use one square centimeter size paper square to measure it. A paper square of one centimeter times one centimeter is the same as one square centimeter. Can you look at this uh, red paper? This red paper square is one centimeter long and one centimeter wide. How we are going to use this red paper to measure the yellow cut just now? So kids, we use six red square paper just now to cover the area of this yellow card. So the area of this yellow card is 6 square centimeters. Another example, how do we measure this rectangle? We have here this uh, square paper. 1 cm times 1 cm. What we need to do with, with uh, this uh, square paper, okay, we need to put this uh, square paper inside this rectangle and we need to count the amount of this square paper that we use to cover the area of this rectangle.
we need to arrange this square paper to cover all the area of this rectangle. Okay, let's see. After we have arranged all this square paper, we need to count how many papers that we use to cover all the area of this rectangle. Okay, so here we use 20 square papers and here we use 7 square papers. Okay, we need to count all these square papers to get the area for this rectangle. Okay, or we can just uh, times 20 cm times 7 cm. Okay, so we get 140 square centimeters. Don't forget the unit square centimeters. Okay, kita kena kira semua kertas petak kecil ni untuk dapatkan area bagi segi empat tepat ini. Berapa petak kecil yang kita guna? Jadi jawapannya 140. Okay, dan uh, unit mesti ditulis uh, 140 square centimeters. Now, let's look at page 82. Let's test measuring the area of regular surfaces. Okay, I'm going to uh, disregard the center part of this page and also the above part of this page. You need to do this in your uh, science exercise book. Okay, I need you to draw this A. B, C, and D. So this is the example. Okay, you need to do this one in your uh, science exercise book. Draw A, B, C, and also D. You need to measure the length and the width correctly using your ruler. Waktu awak lukis tu, kena ukur panjang uh, dengan lebar dia mengikut ukuran yang betul menggunakan pembaris. Okay, and then you need to count the area. And don't forget to answer these two questions. Okay, the first question, how do we find the area of a cut using 1 cm times, times 1 cm paper squares? And number two, which cuts need the most 1 cm times 1 cm paper squares and why? Okay, everyone. I hope you can do the task. Okay. So, that's all. Thank you. I hope to see you again in our next lesson.